In this video, we are going to learn how to set up an Elastic Container Registry in AWS. And we will also learn how to create a Docker image in our one of our EC2 instance. And then, you know, we are going to push the Docker image into ECR. So this is the use case, right? I have already project set up in GitHub, uh, which already, you know, has a Docker file. So we have uh, Dockerized this particular application. We have EC2 instance up and running, uh, which already has Docker installed. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a Docker image in this instance. Okay. And then we are going to push the Docker image into Amazon ECR. Right. So that is what we are going to do. So ECR is nothing but, you know, it's a fully managed Docker container registry provided by uh, AWS for hosting our Docker images. Right. So you don't have to worry about uh, hosting your uh, container registry, uh, you know, separately, right? Uh, they are going to take care of underlying infrastructure like scalability, you know, and high availability and whatnot. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. And then, you know, wherever you are going to deploy your Docker container, uh, you know, it could be Kubernetes or it could be Amazon, uh, you know, EKS and whatnot, uh, you know, those container orchestration platform can uh, pull the image from Amazon ECR, right? So that is the use case. Awesome. So let's get started. So this is my website, cadevops.com. I have, you know, already provided the steps documented in this page. I will be posting uh, this link right below the uh, URL, uh, I mean the video URL, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to uh, check out from here and, uh, you know, we are going to build the Docker image in this EC2 instance, which has Docker installed, okay? And then I'm going to uh, tag the image and then I'm going to push that image into Amazon ECR, right? So ECR is nothing but, you know, it's a managed Docker uh, registry for uh, hosting uh, Docker images. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, creating a private registry or something like that, or you don't even have to worry about how to, you know, scale up underlying infrastructure and whatnot, okay? So they are gonna take care of it, okay? And then once you upload your Docker image, uh, whichever the uh, container orchestration platform you have, you know, Kubernetes or, you know, Swarm or, you know, or, or you know, AKS and whatnot, you know, you can uh, pull the image from here and then, you know, you would be able to deploy into your uh, Kubernetes cluster, okay? Uh, so this, this is the use case. This is what we are gonna talk about, right? So we are going to build a Docker image in this EC2 instance, and then we are going to upload that image into uh, Amazon ECR, okay? So this is what we are going to do. Awesome. So like I mentioned, uh, this is my, uh, you know, EC2 instance, which already has a uh, Docker install. I have already connected to my EC2 instance here. So this is the EC2 instance. This, uh, this has Docker installed, okay? So what we are going to do first, uh, we are going to log into uh, uh, AWS and then we are going to, uh, you know, create a elastic uh, container registry, right? So we are going to create a container registry, right? So let's do that. So let me type ECR here. So I'm going to go here, elastic container registry. I'm going to create a repository. So click on create repository. So give some name. So I'm going to call this as my Docker repo, right? So this is the repository name. This is where we are going to host our Docker images and then click on create repository. Awesome. So we have successfully create, uh, you know, created a repository, right? So you can click on the repository name and when you click on view push commands, so this is the one, you know, it is going to show you, uh, you know, what are the commands you have to use in order to uh, you know, log in successfully into uh, ECR and then how you can create a Docker image, how you can tag it, and then, you know, how you can push that image into this, uh, you know, repository, okay? So these are the commands. Awesome. So click on close. So we have successfully created uh, this repository. And then the next step is, uh, you know, we have to uh, go to our EC2 instance, all right? And then, you know, create a uh, you know, Docker image, right? But before that, we have to ensure that, you know, we are able to successfully, uh, you know, connect to this ECR, right? 
So how do you do that? There are a couple of ways uh, you can, uh, you know, uh, connect to this ECR securely. Uh, one of the ways is, you know, uh, using the IAM role, okay, because we are already in uh, AWS, right? If you are already in AWS, you actually don't need to, uh, you know, uh, create, uh, you know, access key and secret key, right? You can use the IAM role in order to access, uh, you know, ECR, okay? And then the second way is, you know, using access key and secret key. And, you know, this is only if you are, you know, outside the AWS setup, right? Let's say if you are using your local machine, uh, you want to connect to uh, AWS, you can use access key and secret key, okay? But we are not going to do uh, that, right? Let's go ahead and then create an IAM role, okay? So I'm going to go to uh, services here and click on IAM, okay? All right, so click on role here and uh, click on create role, okay? And uh, click on EC2 because uh, you know what we have to do, we have to create an IAM role and then assign that role to that EC2 instance, okay? And we have to attach uh, a policy to it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So click on this one and then say next permission, okay? And in here, what we have to do, uh, if you type ECR, uh, no, sorry, just type Amazon uh, Elastic. There you go. Type registry here, that would be better. Yeah, so we have to select this uh, policy, right? So we have to give this policy. So go and uh, say next. You don't have to give any tag. So click on review and you have to give a, a role name, right? So I'm going to call this as um, Docker EC2, uh, you know, ECR role. So that is the role I'm going to give, right? Okay and then say create role. Okay, so we have successfully created this role. So what we need to do, we need to assign this IAM role to that EC2 instance, right? So let me uh, go to EC2 and then click on this and we have to choose our EC2 instance, which is nothing but this one and go to action and then say instance setting and then we have to attach that role, right? Which is nothing but this one, right? And then click on apply. So basically, the EC2 instance has full access to Amazon ECR, right? So that is what we need to do and which we did right now, okay? So we are good to go on that. So moving on to a next step. So we did this, right? We created this IAM role and then attached to that EC2 instance, okay? And then we have to create, or sorry, we have to set up AWS CLI, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. This is the command. Because, you know, we are going to uh, access ECR using AWS, uh, you know, CLI. So once it is installed, we are going to verify that. Okay, awesome. So we were successfully installed that. Okay, great. And then the next step is, you know, we have to make sure that uh, we are able to connect to, uh, you know, ECR, right? So we should be able to log in that first. So how to do that? If you remember, uh, we created uh, the ECR, uh, I mean, we created a, you know, Docker registry, right, in ECR. So let's go there and then click on this uh, repository name, and then click on view push commands, and then you just have to select this one, right? So this should, you know, uh, able to, this command should be able to log into ECR, okay? So let me go ahead and then copy that, okay, and then enter.
Awesome. You see here? So we were successfully able to log into ECR. Okay. So we are good with that. Now, you know, we should be able to create a, a Docker, uh, you know, image, right? Okay. So this is the account ID. So basically the account ID is nothing but this one, right? So which you can get it from uh, here, right? So this is the account ID, right? This is the account ID, right? Okay. Okay. All right. So if you see here, you know, so this is the repository. Okay. So this is the repository. Okay. So basically, if you see the next step, right, uh, we should be able to, you know, access our GitHub, right. Um, so if you see here, I have already created a repository and you know, this is the Python based application. I have already dockerized this uh, application by creating a Docker file, right. So if you look at this, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, installing the Python and then copying the source code. Right, as well as the HTML file and then you know we are exposing port number 5000 for the container and then this is the command to run the application right so this is uh, this is a docker file right so this is where our source code is okay so all I have to do is uh, check out this right and this is already a public repository so this is the command we are going to execute that so go ahead and do that okay see here now if I type ls minus al, you know, I'm able to clone that entire repository along with the source code and then, you know, Docker file, right. So we are good to go, right. So we should be able to uh, create a Docker uh, image, right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a Docker image by executing this command, okay. So I'm going to give uh, some name here, right. Okay, so that is the image name. So right now it is in the process of building the Docker image. Okay, so the Docker image has been built and you can quickly check that by executing this command Docker images, right? So this is the image, right? And, and we were able to build that, okay? So how you are going to push this image into ECR? So we have to do, what we have to do, we have to tag that image, right? So we have to tag the image. So how to tag it? So this is the command. We are going to use the Docker tag command okay and then we are going to tag it right um, so this is the image name right so this is the image name okay and then how you are going to tag it based on your account id right so if you remember we have earlier uh, you know created um, we were able to connect to it right so basically this is what you know we have to use right so what i'm going to say okay so I'm going to say docker tag, okay, my Python latest, right? And then I'm going to do this. And then what is our repository name, right? So we have to give our repository name, right? So if you remember, we have created a repository as so basically, yeah, I mean, this is the command we are going to give, right? Okay. Okay. And you can quickly see that. Okay, see here. So we were able to uh, tag it, you know, per this, uh, you know, repository, see here, right? So this is our image name, right? Okay, so we tagged it successfully, right? Right, so this is our image name, right? We already tagged it for this particular repository, right? So the next thing is, you know, now we should be able to push this Docker image, right? So all you have to do is execute this command, right? Uh, because that is how we tagged it, right? So just go ahead and then copy that. Okay, 
So the image has been pushed. Uh, what you can do, you can verify that by closing this and uh, 